Hello guys. In today's video, I will show you how easy it is to do solo C events. I made this video because I know how hard it can be for some to grind fool's gold for example. At first I struggled a lot because my boat kept dying before I could kill the second boat. But now I found the best method. Before we start don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe with notifications on because we do a live stream helping players every day. As you can see, I am using fast boat, even if the health of these boat is very low compared to beast hunter boat. While farming you can avoid that the boat takes too much damage by jumping very fast while driving. The boat will go away far enough, and you will gain some time until ship raids will be able to damage it. Also, it is very easy and fast to repair this boat. If you don't have yet ship right, I will leave you a link in description from a video I made with all the steps that you must follow to obtain it and be able to repair boats. Now let's talk about builds. The best fruits to farm sea events are Magma Awakened or Buddha. The best fighting style for this is Sanguine Arte. If you don't have this yet use Godhaman or Dragon Talon. As for swords, the best ones for sea events are Shark Anchor. True Triple Katana and Cursed Dual Katana, and the best gun, of course Soul Guitar. Now of course we can't forget about the accessories. This is a very important part. Here I can tell you, which I consider to be the best two accessories for sea events. But you need to keep in mind, that your race will make a big difference. So, if you have Shark Race, you should definitely use Leviathan Crown, because it has some amazing buffs. 12% melee damage, 35% damage to sea events, 25% increased health regeneration, 40% sea events materials drop chance, plus one dodge instinct. If you don't own Leviathan Crown, yeah, I show you here what materials you need to be able to craft this accessory: one dark fragment, ten Leviathan scales, and five electric wings. The second accessory that I was talking about, is also a really good one. And I think all players that don't have Shark Race, feel blessed that this accessory was added. Yes I'm talking about Leviathan Shield, and this accessory's buffs are also very good for farming almost anything. 15% defense against melee, sword, and gun attacks. 30% defense against sea events. 90% protection against water damage. 1000 health. If you want to craft Leviathan Shield, you will need 1 Marifractal, 30 Leviathan Scales, 10 Electric Wing, and 20 Fool's Gold. Please tell me in the comments what your race is and your favorite build for farming sea events. To solo defeat Terra Shark, you can use Magma like me, or to be more safe use Buddha and Melee or Sword. If you have stats on Sword, also don't forget about Z-Move from Sanguine Arc. That will considerably increase your health every time you hit the Terra Shark, and it will be impossible for you to die.
Most of the players think that they can only get fool's gold from haunted ship raid or ghost ship raid. But you also get three fool's gold from ship raid. Recently, I found out that the chests from Treasure Island can also drop fool's gold, to be honest. I still can't confirm this but I will pay more attention from now on, and I will let you know. Write to me in the comments if you received fool's gold from the chests from Treasure Island. Thanks a lot for watching the video until the end. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because that motivates me to make better content every day. If you need any help join us in our next stream or join our discord server because there we have a very cool community that help each other. See you soon.